so today we will see problem of sum of subsets okay so we will try to find sum of subsets problem using backtracking so let's see what sum of subsets means so as the name suggests so we are given n distinct positive integers or numbers and then and also we are given a sum m and we have to find if any of the subsets of these set of the set sum up to m okay so let's take one example let us take that okay we are given numbers 5 7 10 12 15 18 and 20 and the sum is equal to 35 so we have to find if is there any subset that has sum equal to 35 so just by inspection we see that okay 15 and 20 so they sum up to 35 similarly 18 12 and 5 they sum up to 35 okay so there might be more I don't know so the thing is you have to write a systematic code or procedure to find all the subsets that sum up to M so coming to more of like mathematical solution mathematical way of writing the problem statement we see that okay we are given numbers w1 w2 w3 till wn so these are n numbers and let's assume that the solution we represent the solution as x1 x2 x3 till x and a vector x which is either 0 or 1 0 means i have not chosen that in my subset that number and 1 means i have chosen that in my subset so again it's very simple to see that there are 2 into 2 so 2 to the power of n possibilities are there and we have to check among them which are the valid ones. So representing this in form of a the result space so let's see so this represents a tree a binary tree which has like all the possibilities x1 means what so we have we also assume that the numbers we have are all in non decreasing order okay so this is the set then we first do what we make it in de non decreasing order it means like 2 3 4 5 i get from 4 3 5 2 and then here it means what so this left branching means i'm not choosing the xi and right branching means i'm choosing the xi so let's see what this represents so i'm coming here so this one x1 is equal to 0 means i have not chosen 2 x2 is equal to 1 means i have chosen 3 and then i go this red line x3 is equal to 1 means 4 i have chosen so and then x4 is equal to 0 which means so i have not chosen x4 so this sums up to 7 and that's what required similarly i can so this can be represented as 0 1 1 0 1 solution another solution is so another solution would be what like we can see so it will be x1 is equal to 1 which means i have 2 x2 is equal to 0 i don't have 3 x3 is equal to 0 i don't have 4 and x4 is equal to 1 which means i have a 5 here so this 1 0 0 1 also forms a solution so these are the two solutions from the tree we see and there are total of these many possibilities 31 possibilities okay so and of course there will be a null set so what happens is now let's see so this is all possibilities so 2 to the power of n possibilities are there so this is the thing but again we want to reduce as an algorithmist we always want that okay can we be more efficient so what we try is that can we somehow uh, we can always like if i am going branching out 
so can we stop somewhere if i know that actually that okay this part i will never be able to find so how to do that so we try to find if i actually know here itself that i will not find any solution by going down further in the tree so i will stop and look at other such space tree okay so that's what we will see here so one constraint is that total sum let's say i am um, till the kth number i have found and let's say i have chosen some of them and not chosen some of them based on this x size so this is the total sum till now and then what happens we have wi i is equal to k to l let's say i have these numbers now still there i can choose from them so one important thing is that whatever i have chosen and whatever is still there so that sum should be greater than equal to m otherwise what will happen that okay let's say that the sum was 7 and i have a sum which is till now is 3 and even if i take all the numbers that are still left and they sum up to be less than m then i will not get the solution okay so i will directly from this place i will not branch out anymore okay so this example from here let's see if we can get one so if let's say i have come till here okay so now two three four all of them i have not chosen so my sum now is zero so based on this i have not chosen all x size are zero so i have a zero sum and last item that is left is five so i know that okay even if i choose all the last items which in our case is just one if I choose 5, then also it's not going to sum up to 7. So in that case, I don't have to try all these branchings further. Okay. So here there was only two possibilities, but then also we gain both of them. Like I don't search at this point, all these three. So this is the first equation. And then let's see what the second equation says. So we'd say that, okay, all the W's are in non-decreasing order so what happens so if i see that okay till now the sum is this one okay so this is the sum till now and i know it is in increasing order so what happens wk plus one if this itself becomes greater than m okay so i have some summation till now and if the next element i choose that makes my sum greater than m then what happens i don't need to search further why because all the other numbers will be even wk plus 2 wk plus 3 all will be greater than wk plus 1 so all of them will have summation greater than m so i don't need to find in that place so i think we will get that example also here so let's see so 2 3 5 so 2 and 3 we choose so 2 is chosen here 3 is chosen so if i take this path so till here i come and my sum is 2 plus 3 so it is 5 so now i say that okay 5 and any wk plus 1 is now 4 so i already have the sum 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 and if i choose w3 then it will grow what it will become 9 so i see that okay this part of the tree i don't need to search okay because i know that okay if i search everything will be greater than seven so i will not search this one so this is what the second equation means and now based on this so we will search the solution space but wherever we find that okay now the solution we won't get the solution at all by going further so we stop there so let's see so this is the thing and the code is here so it is a backtracking code and why we use the term backtracking so we find if there is no solution so we backtrack to some other possibilities by seeing backwards okay so let's see sum of subset s k and r so s is here what so till now i'm coming to the kth node in this one the kth element if i have to choose it or not so s is the sum till i is equal to 1 to k minus 1 okay and r is the remainder that okay what is still there with me so it is summation from i is equal to k to n so these are still left which i can add in my sum so let's see so m is a global thing i already know and x w's i's are given 
so what happens every time when i come to the decision sum of subset so i can either have xk is equal to 1 or xk is equal to 0 okay so these are the two possibilities that we have and what happens let's say first case is i have xk is equal to 1 so it means i have chosen xk so what happens is if so if s plus wk so whatever the summation was till here plus um, because i am saying that xk is equal to 1 so s plus wk if it is becoming m then i'm done so i have already found and i will return i will say that write x1 to k i have already so whatever was the solution some will be 1 some will be zeros so this i have already found the sum all the rest will be now zero so this if s plus wk something in between becomes m the sum then i don't have to go further so let's see if this example comes here in the tree so it was 3 plus 4 so this is 3 plus 4 i came to know that okay i have got a sum 7 i don't need to go further why because now i will say that all the rest are x i's are 0 and i have found the sum okay so this is done so if i find that okay the sum is there then i write it otherwise what i do so i have not found the sum it means it is less than the sum so s plus w k if i do so okay this is still now and then i check if plus w k plus 1 if this is less than m then it means there is the possibility that i will find out the sum so this check is something very much similar to what we were told here in this one that okay if next item if it sums up and it is less than m there is a possibility that okay solution will be there in this part of the subtree so what i do sum of subset so now my sum becomes s plus wk here in the recursion and i'm going to the k plus 1th element because i have found this that okay which elements to choose from till k elements and now whatever the sum is remaining that is r minus wk okay so where so this becomes now and otherwise if this is not the case what happens so we come here also else if is done one possibility is that i don't choose so this part of the code was for if i'm choosing but if i don't choose this is the code so let's see so if what happens s plus r minus wk so let's see s plus r so k minus 1 plus wk so if this is greater than m so this should be greater than m because this is the first condition this should be greater than m and s plus wk plus 1 should be less than m so both the conditions we are checking if both these are true then i am searching in the rest of the subtree so i do sum of subset s because i am not choosing anything in the kth element so i have the sum as s still k plus 1th element i will see now and now i am left with only r minus wk as the sum okay so this way we can do and let's see what we will call initially so what will be the when we are calling which way we will what arguments we will give so we will write some of subset and initially s let's see what is s so i is equal to 1 to k minus 1 so initially k i will call with 1 so it will be 0 so here i give us some 0 k plus 1 is 1 I will start from the first element and R is the total summation. So it will be all the summation till the first. So it will be sum from so R minus WK. So K here is 0. So it will be K is 0. So I is equal to 0 to and all the summation will be there. Summation w i so i is equal to 1 to n okay so this will be the case and this way we will try to find out so